Worshiping with our voice is one of the main ways that we worship the Lord in church especially. And there's a Hebrew word for this that describes what it looks like in the Bible to use our voice in worship. There's also lots of scriptures that talk about using our voice to sing praises, to lift up the name of the Lord, to worship Him. In Psalms, it talks about speaking the praises of the Lord. It talks about blessing the Lord at all times. It says, I will bless the Lord. It's an active choice that you make to bless the Lord using your voice. Even in Proverbs 18, it says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Our tongues have so much power. So speaking life, speaking edification, speaking praises to the Lord, there's so much power when we do that. There are a couple different Hebrew words that are used that define what singing to the Lord looks like. But let's look at the Psalms, because in the Psalms alone, there are 75 references to singing to the Lord. It says, sing praises to our King. Be ever singing your praise. Oh, sing to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Bless his name. Come into his presence with singing. And in Isaiah 42, we are commanded by saying, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing his praises from the ends of the earth. So the one thing I do wanna highlight here is that when it says sing to the Lord, it's not saying sing to the Lord if you sound good. It's just saying sing to the Lord. So whether you sound amazing or you're working on it or you don't sound that great, that is still our praise that we get to give to the Lord. Shouting for the Lord is also used a lot in the Bible, and there's also a Hebrew word that describes this and defines this a little bit more for us. In Psalms, it talks about um, offering shouts of joy to the Lord. It talks about shouting for joy um, with an upright heart. It talks about my lips will shout for joy and sing praises. Shouting is the most extreme use of your voice that you can do but in worship, it is powerful. In Leviticus, it even talks about that the people shouted for joy. And David talks about shouting to God with a voice of triumph. So when you have victory, when the Lord has done something amazing, shouting for joy is a natural expression of praise, of adoration, of thanksgiving towards the Lord. As we shout that the Lord has been victorious, that he has overcome. And it is definitely an amazing way to celebrate and to worship the Lord with shouts of joy. <laughs> 